a lot of people will hop over and they'll say, don't you think you have enough? <laughs> We're like, no. <laughs> Welcome to the Bunny Museum. Hop on in. I'm Candice Frizzi, the co-founder of the Bunny Museum in Altadena, California. The Bunny Museum is the world's only museum about bunnies. Everything to do with art, literature, advertising, all bunny things. Currently we have over 35,000 bunny items in the museum. My husband Steve and I, when we were dating, I started calling him my honey bunny and he liked that so he gave me a plush bunny on our first Valentine's Day 25 years ago. And then I gave him a porcelain bunny at Easter, our first Easter, and then every holiday we're giving each other a bunny gift. But then Steve couldn't wait for the holidays so he made it every day. And we still do that, give each other a bunny gift every day as a love token. So the bunny museum is a love story. This is the first bunny that started the whole collection. Steve, nice. <laughs> you gave that to me 25 years ago yes. on Valentine's Day. We opened up the Bunny Museum in 1998, 20 years ago this year. We would joke, we would say, oh, we live in a bunny museum. It just got to be not just the bathroom and the bedroom and the library, but it was like everywhere. So we found, we thought, Let's open a bunny store and cater to the real bunny. And we did that in Steve's bicycle shop. And we did that for a couple of years. And then people would come and, and they'd say, wow, there's a lot of bunny stuff in the store here. And Steve would say, that's nothing. You should see our house. <laughs> Right almost from the beginning we knew when people started hopping over and hopping through the house, we could tell um, we needed a bigger space for a gift shop kind of thing. And then we moved here to Altadena um, almost a year ago, and we have set hours now. And our antiquity is over here. So these are our 2,000 year old items. And you can press the button, and it rotates. So that's really fun. And the real bunnies are in the Warren. Oh, look, the mail came. <laughs> <laughs> the bunnies are going to chew the mail. That Richard. bad, bad bunny. <laughs> Not a bad bunny. You better get the other stuff. Yes. So the real bunnies live here. Everything is three feet off the ground, so because they chew all the time, that's why we have a bucket catching the male. They will chew it. And so over the years, we've had 26 uh, real bunnies. Currently, we have Butterscotch and Darcy and Jumper. So in any natural history museum, they have a coyote and an elephant and a dinosaur. So in the bunny museum, we have the real bunnies preserved and exhibited. But we believe in keeping them just to show people that this is a true collection of ours. We got the Guinness World Record in 1999. And I did it on purpose in 1999 because that's the year of the bunny. So let's hop into the Chamber of Hop Horrors. We won't show you everything because uh, you have to be 13 and up to get in here. But we have the Lucky Rabbit's Feet and toys with bunny fur and, and the toys from the 30s. Pretty creepy. <laughs> All very scary looking, yep. And the, the uh, tribal mass and the tiki spirit. So it's kind of like the abuse of bunny throughout history. No, <laughs> we will never have enough because we just enjoy it and the history of it is really fascinating. I expected something really weird and kind of cool and it's really kind of weird and really cool but it's so much fun. That's what I didn't expect is just to be smiling the whole time I'm here. It's incredible. We would love to recommend this facility to everyone. Hop on over to the Bunny Museum. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's good. <laughs> 
Steve and I will never stop uh, collecting, giving each other a bunny gift. Um, and it won't slow down. I can imagine even when we're 90, <laughs> we'll have somebody drive us <laughs> to an antique store and buy a bunch of items. People will hop over here and they'll think, wow, you really love bunnies. And Steve and I say, no, 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 we love each other.